when we say chest pain, you probably jump to cardiac pain, which makes sense, right? There's a lot of reasons why you think that. A lot of it is, has to do with just how serious cardiac causes of chest pain can be. But we're gonna cover cardiac, but also non-cardiac anatomy slash causes of chest pain. And in doing so, we're gonna sort of practice going through a differential diagnosis through a couple case studies, many case studies, more like patient presentations, and kind of make the connection that especially if you're early on or have yet to begin your training in healthcare fields, really understand like how the anatomy connects directly into these clinical presentations, right? And so that's the point of learning anatomy is because we apply it all the time in our practice. We're treating bodies and we got to know what parts are in the body in order to know where things are going wrong and how to fix them. So we're going to start with the chest.